<laughs> I can't stop shivering. What the what? Hello YouTube, you crazy sons of guns. So, uh, in today's video, we are going to be doing the toxic, well, I've just made it up, but it's basically, you get a, do you know toxic waste, those really sour sweets? So you get a whole pack of those, you chuck them all in your mouth, and then whoever can last longer between me and Celia is the winner. And that's, that's it, that's, that's it. I, I don't know why I'm doing it, to be honest, but that's it. Uh, we're gonna go and before we do that, we're going to do a leg day that Celia has just written out. It is a single leg leg day, so we're only working our left leg today. No, I'm joking. We're doing it's like unilateral work, so single leg exercises. Celia has written it, so it's only fair that Celia demonstrates it, right? 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 So yeah, sit back and enjoy this wonderful, wonderful video. Also, quick plug. Uh, I just wanted to quickly say. Uh, basically, I've just, I don't know if you've heard of it, I've just started a Fiverr page. It's so a place where you provide services for a charge. Um, so obviously I'm not a qualified personal trainer, so I can only really give advice um, and share my experience through things. So I thought, right, I don't have my, so I'm, I'm going for my personal training qualification, so I will be able to do that one day. But until then, I thought, how can I provide some, like, a service to you guys? So, being racked in my brain, and basically, I've thought of the idea is the biggest thing, apart from not knowing what to do in a plan, is actually doing the plan and being motivated enough to get up and go, basically. So, my idea is that you pay five pounds, so literally one time payment, five pounds. I give you my personal phone number, so literally this phone number, and I give you my, I'm gonna call it a cheat sheet, uh, methods that I have used. Uh, collate them all together and give you those things uh, to hopefully help increase your motivation. Now for an extra five pounds, uh, on top of that original five pound, again just a one time payment, I can text you every morning. So you give me your number, I text you every single morning uh, and I try and increase that motivation and kickstart your day in a sense. Uh, and then for an additional five pounds, so that's 15 pounds in total, again these can be paid separately. I can text you every single night uh, as like an evening recap for accountability, uh, accountability. So they are the three total like things all together. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description. I think it is helpful. Like, and hopefully, if enough of you sign on, I'll just be on my phone all day, just replying to you guys, helping you out. Uh, that's the plan. That's all I want to do. I just want to help. So yeah. So we're doing the leg workout now. Uh, Celia is going to instruct it. Uh, I'll put her Instagram in the description and what other things have we got? Have we got any other things? Facebook? Do you want Facebook in there? I don't understand. Just do you want Instagram? Instagram. I'll put Instagram in there. So I'll put her Instagram in there. This is the workout. I'll put everything up on screen at the bottom here. Uh, what she's doing and I'll let her explain. The um, the road is way too loud, so I'm just gonna film it for now, and then Celia is going to do the voiceover afterwards. She's gonna talk to you, she's gonna tell you exactly what she's doing, why she's doing it, so enjoy it. Go. Boom. <laughs> right, brilliant, so you haven't started. Can you cut my voice? Okay, so this is a lateral squat. Um, it should bring into account your adductors and glutes and then just general hip flexibility to get you ready for the workout. So is it the warm-up? This is the warm-up. This is the warm-up. This is the warm-up and it is based all around our new face and look So we're going to sit down side and sit down We call it what we want. So this is a split squat. You want to be pushing up through your front foot and about 20% of your weight stays in that back foot. Keeping your core tight, pushing up through your glute. The slower you do it, the better, um, but try really hard to keep your balance. Pretty much everyone hates these. How many sets, Celia? So we have done only two sets of eight reps each leg, just because I find it a little bit more effective. 
don't really know why. I think it's because if you say that you're doing three or four sets of a split squat, you don't want to do it and you'll rush it. So this way you do it really well. Cause you call it what you want. Yeah, we call it what we want. Okay, so the next exercise is walking lunges. We did two sets of 10. Um, these are pretty similar to the split squat. However, obviously it's bringing into account cardio as well. Again, keep your core tight and push up through that front foot every time. Um, and shoulders pinned back as much as you can so that obviously you are protecting your back as much as you can. These are grimy. Yeah, you will cry. Next exercise is a single leg step up. We just did three sets of as <laughs> many reps as possible. Um, so do start with your weaker leg, um, if you know your weaker leg. These basically correct any imbalances, but you do have to make sure that you are doing them correctly. So you do, do not want to step off that back foot. Um, so if your calf is engaging too much, you'll know that you're not stepping off the front foot. Um, and just do as many reps as you can on the weak side and then match it on the other side. Okay, so this is the first exercise of your superset. Um, we're doing RDLs here, so just a Romanian deadlift with dumbbells. I'm not coming all the way up, so I'm trying to keep the tension as much as I can in my hamstring. I think we just did two sets of 10 on this one, so 10 reps on this one, and then I will explain the second exercise. Okay, so the second exercise of this superset ended up being really difficult. It's a curtsy RDL, so basically your back foot is back and to the side, and all of the weight is going into that front leg. Um, it was difficult, and I pretty much failed, so the next set we changed it up a little bit and just did one dumbbell, but in both hands down the front of your leg. Um, it basically forces the weight into your inner thighs, so your adductors, and then round into your glutes. You got me fooling around in all your honesty Don't think you got the concept right uh, oh. Double moral bitterness is not my time But still it gotta work so on you You got me paper thin doing concrete things Okay, so the final little finisher exercise was two sets of 15 of jumping squats Pretty much just jump through your heels, keep your core tight and try really hard to keep your glutes back Yeah, so the traffic was really bad next to the thing. So she is going to do, well, not she. Celia is going to do a voiceover of the workout. I'll pipe in every now and then uh, because I'm sick. And yeah. And yeah, it was, it's grim. You'll see why. It's, it's just horrible. I hated it. Um, and we haven't eaten yet. And it's what, 20 past two. So I'm going to cook up a steak. I'm gonna have some steak for lunch. I'm gonna go and play some basketball. I might record it, I might not. Depends how busy it is because just, I don't even know if we'll get a court to be honest. It's such nice weather. For all you idiots who can't cook a steak, don't cook your steak right, straight from the fridge. Take it out, let it do that thing where it just chills out for like half an hour. Let it just get to room temperature. Then season it with salt, nothing else, and put it in a hot pan. That is literally it. All you have to do. If you want it unhealthy, put some, cook it in butter and garlic. Why is my hair doing this? <laughs> if you want it unhealthy, cook it in butter and garlic. If you don't, just cook it in, like, you can do it in a little bit of butter, it's not too bad. Or just some like, some of that spray oil, dry, dry cook it, whatever. Just season it and take it out of the fridge first. I'll show you the result, it's so good. A little bit of rocket, some horseradish, you know. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna teach how to cook steak because oh, you're gonna what? I'm gonna teach how to cook steak because I'm a good guy and I like steak and it annoys me when people can't cook steak. So oil the pan. I'm gonna do the unhealthy version because um, if you're gonna eat steak, you need to be bougie with it. And you don't have it that often. Just a little bit of oil. Uh. Nice hot pan. Let that heat up. Get yourself some salt. Get better salt than this, but. Where? 
lazy. Lazy. So this has been resting for like half an hour, as I said before. It's out of the fridge. Don't cook it straight from the refrigerator because that's weird. And it's savage. Season it. Don't be afraid. It's only salt. Rub it in. <laughs> Flip it. Babs. Don't know why this steak has holes in it. Do that. Thank it. Don't do that. So, <laughs> yeah, let that heat up for a bit longer. Uh, because we're going really unhealthy, I'm gonna get some butter out as well. So you need butter halfway, and you need some. I would like to add that the butter is unsalted. Some garlic, some lovely garlic. I don't know where you think the camera is. In your hand, you Yeah, but you keep moving <laughs> away from me. So, garlic. There we go, oh yeah. You done? <laughs> so, let that pan heat up. I think the pan's hot. You could just eat this raw. <laughs> and <laughs> you could smell just, something. Should I just eat it raw? I go for it. No. Uh, and then just chuck it in the pan. It should make that noise because it's cooking. It needs to be hot first, you know. Don't touch it. Don't touch the steak. Don't think about touching it. Don't. Just let it do its thing. Let it chill. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. So, once it's like being chilling and cooking. Oh! Don't do that. Ah, it's hot. Flip it. Should look pretty nice by this point. And I think now is a good time to start adding some butt butt. That's how much butter you add. I normally add more than that. This is like relatively healthy. Chuck some butter in, chuck some garlic in, and get yourself a spoon. So at this point, you can start looking at turning the heat down a little bit. Because otherwise you'll hurt yourself. And then we'll do something which is called basting. So you just do this. You just chuck all that butter and all that oil and all that garlic on top of your steak. I don't, I don't have any rosemary, but at this point, you can throw some rosemary on it. But we don't have any because, I don't know, we just don't have any rosemary in the house. Just keep doing that. Let it just chill for a bit. Start poking it. Also, get ribeye, because ribeye's just nice. A bit fattier, but again, if you're gonna eat a steak. That garlic looks like it has a really creepy smile on it. <laughs> Can you see it? Because it's so happy to be cooking on a steak. Come. So when you think it's about done, or once it's had that time, there is a little trick that you can do using your hand and this bit of your thumb. So, if you poke this bit of your thumb here, depending on what finger you hold, it'll tell you the how cooked the steak is. So if you don't do anything, that is what it'll feel like if it's rare. So that's a bit tougher than that, so keep comparing. Go into this. Don't put any pressure on, don't squeeze, just literally place them together. That. That's medium rare. Poke it again. Yeah, I'd say that's about medium rare. And then obviously, the more cooked it is, the more you go through it. That's uh, well done, and if you do that, then you should um, not watch this video anymore because I don't like you as a person. Um, and that's that's it, really. Chuck it onto a plate. Put a bit of them juices on. And let it rest for like, what, 10 minutes? Let it breathe, let it just, that'll cook it a little bit more. Just let it chill for a bit. Um, and then, yeah. I'll show you the sandwich afterwards. Fucking beautiful. <laughs> Another little trick for your steak sandwich. If you get the bread that you're going to use, um, stick it in the pan where all the juices from the steak just were. Rub it around a little bit, you know. As I said before, this this I don't advise eating this if you're gonna if you're trying to lose weight. Like this is not. This is not losing weight food. This is just enjoyable. Like, 
summertime, nice food that, as I said, yeah, I'm feeling a bit bougie today, so, proper get that stuck in to that juice, and I think we're nearly about ready to cut this bad boy up, it's looking quite, quite nice to be honest. So I'll have my steak um, medium, so I'll take it off the heat, uh, probably about the back end of medium rare. Um, I'll then leaving it for a while, you get this nice little tiny bit of pink showing. Come on, focus. Um, but yeah. I'll show you the sandwich. So, get the bread that you've just done all the juices, juicy stuff with. <laughs> Some rock wheat, obviously. Bang on some horseradish. You savage. I like a lot, because, I don't know, I just like a lot. It's not actually spicy, it's just kind of like. It doesn't look very appealing. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not like a good, good like, I'm not good like that, I'm not a chef, I'm not. Get your steak on there. Close lid. <laughs> like that. Go on, do a nice panoramic shot of it. Oh, does it look good? It does. Mm. It Get your eyes off it, it's mine. Are you comfortable? Yeah. Don't let's dig it. So, this is the whole purpose of the video, so I know it's taking a long time to get here, but we are doing the toxic waste challenge. So we've managed to find two tubs of toxic waste, and basically we're gonna put them all in our mouth, at once and then see if it can last longer. I'm gonna set a timer going. Um, and yeah, we should be pulling some funny faces and whatever. It is real brand new. This is the spit bucket. So when when we give up like uh, uh, whatever. Oh wait. One, two, three, four. <gasps> oh, I didn't even remember that that's how many it was. Can <laughs> Five, I save six, one? Because I like them. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. How do I open it? <laughs> <laughs> it's soft. I didn't put it in. <laughs> I don't put it in yet. I'm so excited. Right, so. You ready? Right. We were just saying, like, I'm really nervous <laughs> for this and I don't know why. I'm quite worried. This isn't going to be nice. <laughs> Cheers. Three. Can I have all in one? I can't get that all in my mouth at the same time. I'll just fall on the floor. Okay. Three, two, one, go. My mouth is burning. Mm, good thing. I'm good boy. Oh. 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 How you say that? Nah. Oh, 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 
shaky. I've got toxic waste in my nose. <laughs> oh God, I'm a pussy. No, but I did one minute 18, you did that, plus that. Oh, you did one too. minute 32. Uh, my mouth hurts a lot. Uh, yeah, there you go. That was horrible. That was a toxic waste charm. Uh, now we've just got a bowl of spitting spit. to spit toxic waste. Oh, my God. I can't feel my teeth. Uh, so for anybody that wants to do it themselves, um, move your tongue out of the way. I just kept moving them about because it kept getting uncomfortable. No, if you just put them there. Oh, I really feel like it. The moment one was on your tongue and it like started to get what you were you were done. Is my tongue bleeding? No, but it doesn't look happy. Don't forget, go and follow us both on Instagram. We'll put our Instagrams up on the screen here. Don't forget, comment, like, subscribe, share. Don't forget about my fiver. Uh, it is, I think, quite a good idea. Other people do too. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. It's so red. Ow. Don't do that. Yeah.